Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Russian Fishing 4 and today once again I'm at Aktuba. I am not going for wild carps, I am going mainly for sterlets and possibly for sturgeons uh, at the spot. Uh, in the evening I will get loads of burbits and catfish. It's a very interesting spot, it's right here. Uh, I'm actually aiming this way from the spot. At a clip of 17 now when when this video releases remember guys i recorded this a long time ago so this spot might not be active at all uh but uh let's see how this spot goes right now currently it's uh it's active and it's working uh someone just got six kg sterlets two of them and loads of one kg sterlets so uh evening time is coming i believe we should be good throughout the day as well because uh, sterlets bite throughout the day as well. Let's see how this spot goes. I really hope it does good. Alright, let's see what this is. Maybe a burbot. Oh, wow. A catfish. Definitely a catfish. Holy moly, this is the 18.5 kg Tagara. Uh, definitely has to be a catfish. Unless it's stuck against... Surface here, so let me just move up. Nope, it is a fat catfish by the looks of it. <laughs> Alright, this is cool. Uh... Very slowly reeling it in. Damn. How big is this? I really hope this is like a 20 kg plus. Our energy, look at that. Look at that, our energy just fly down really quick. Just right in front of our feet, too. Looks like the caliber is uh, getting something. Or has some interest in it. Alright, I can slowly pick this up, guys. Come on, catfish. Show yourself. Holy cow. Alright, I am super happy it's not a tiny catfish. All right, let's get our net out. Uh, 15 kg catfish. Nice. I'll take it. <laughs> Looks like our caliber is uh, getting something here. Uh, oh no. Uh, yeah, that is the caliber. Man, they're all black colored. Except for a little bit of the white on the Takara, so. Alright, small fish, what are you? Herbit, yes. 1.3 kg. Herbits, decent money. So I don't mind him. Something decent. Just the way they pulled down all of a sudden. Damn. And that's a burbit. 2.1 kg. Okay. Alrighty. What are you? So I put the leader on my Tagara as well. Because such a big difference here. I'm getting all the burbits on the caliber without the leader. And uh, on this one I wasn't getting anything. So I put a leader on. On this one, I have pellets, so I guess I won't be getting any burbs. Uh, but it is for big sterlets if we get any on that. Look at that. Wow. Was that another bite or? Damn. Thing's on fire. Another burb. Come on, eggplant. Come on. <gasps> A starlet, yes! Look at that, guys. 
Beautiful, isn't it? Finally, a sterlet. Wow, awesome. Awesome sauce. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see there. Burbit or Sterlet? Burbit. 1.9 kg. I mean, heck, just keep him coming. And uh, these small burbs are gonna pay up. Uh, look at that. So 10 minutes. Okay, we, got, we started off with a cat. Uh, then we got one fish, and then it was like, oh no, as the spot died out. But look at that. So it's it's going. As long as it doesn't slow down. <laughs> okay, eight minutes now. Uh, slowed down quite a lot. So let's see. A catfish. Okay. Not what I wanted, but... <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, could this be a Sturge? Because uh, it ran pretty fast. Oh, you know what? It's not a Sturge. I'm getting too happy. It's, uh, it's a wild card, probably. Man, it ran so quick all of a sudden. Almost like an Atlantic Salmon and it just gave up. What? That was really weird. Oh, what is this? Short-headed barbel, what? And I think that's almost a trophy 8kg barbel. Oh my god. That was so close, 25,000. Uh, heck yes. That is a very welcome surprise on Nightcrawler 2. Yes. <laughs> that's cool. Looks like we got something on this one again. This has to be a sterlet, it's quite small. Uh, it is a burbot, what? That is a very late burbot. <laughs> I did not think they would uh, bite this late in uh, the morning, like the sun is. Sun's out. Alright, so I think something is on this. Yes. Herbert again. What? Non markers, unfortunately, but. I guess they're just not getting enough food here. Look at that. Two non marker burbs. I think someone is quietly on. Oh, okay. I just picked up the rod and there was nothing on it. I'm assuming this is a cat, by the way, it pulled down. Looks like it's too big to be a starlet. Oh yeah, of course, a wild. Uh, 5 kg. I will take it, sure. I think something is trying to, uh itself on the caliber here. I yes, finally. There we go. What are you? Uh wow, short headed barbell. This time not even a marker. Uh but interesting, I've never gotten these before. Is there something on this? Yes, this is a sterlet. Uh, this did not even jingle the bell. Yes, a 1.4 kg sterlet. There you go. Uh, since this is such a big reel, the poor sterlet just... <laughs> it didn't stand a chance. I saw the line go there. I just yanked it. Like so. And it didn't ring the bell. That means uh, there's something on it. So... Looks like a wild, maybe. Yes. Another one. 1.1. 1 .1. Keep him coming. Look at that. 
in less than a minute. So as long as it keeps going. Okay, so day number one of I don't know how many days I'll be able to fit into one episode. Uh, but this is just the first day here. Let's check the cafe. Do I have anything? Uh, no, absolutely nothing. Uh, let's go to the fish store. Uh, 41 minutes I've been here. 180 silver. Damn. Uh, hopefully, you know, in the last 19 minutes, we would have made another 20 silver, hopefully. And it would have, uh, we would have met the minimum goal. But wow, this short-headed barbel is the reason. Uh, we even got to this amount. Look at that, 82 silver almost. Uh, 7.5 kg short-headed barbel. Uh, imagine if this was a trophy at 8 kg. Holy moly, that would have been worth a lot. Uh, that 15 kg catfish, 23 silver, that was an easy catch. No wear and tear. Uh, wild carp, 5 kg is 13 silver. And then we have burbits, a few starlets. Uh, good priced fish. Uh, it's just, it's a very slow spot. Uh, but it's a very interesting spot. As you saw, first fish, catfish, 15 kg. A few burbots at night, a few starlets. And short-headed barbel here and there as well. Wild carps here and there as well. So, you know what? It's very interesting. I like it. 180 silver. So, uh, anytime now. It's not going to let me sell or there we go. Uh, so let's see uh, how well I do on day number two, which will be right after the segment. All right. Hello. Hello. Uh, today is day number two at uh, Octuba. And once again, we're in the exact same spot looking for sterlets. Let's see how, the, how our second day goes. Uh, burbits. How? Very strange spot. Burbits at morning, a burbits even before evening has, has arrived. Uh, so very different. Uh, Attic tuba. Let's see what uh, today holds for us. Uh, depending on how active or dead the spot is, uh, this episode will be either too uh, very long or it'll be split up into two pieces or it'll be a very short and sad episode. <laughs> Uh, but I have a feeling we're going to do good here. Ooh, <clears throat> our boily setup is, uh, is getting something here. What could this be? Ooh, is this a wild or is this a cat? <gasps> yes. A stellate sturgeon. Oh my god, 9.9 .9 kg. That's our very first stellate. Oh my god, yes. Yes. <laughs> right off the bat. Oh, I'm so happy. I never thought I'd catch another sturgeon. I thought we would only catch a wild card, perhaps, or a. Uh, uh, you know, the, the fish were sterlet or a sterlet, but no, it's a decent size, almost 10 kg. Do you remember how on streams I was saying, oh, I want a 10 kg sturgeon minimum. And this is just so close. I will just consider this a 10 kg. Uh, my goal of the day is already done. Second day, third fish, first marker fish. Boom, done. I am so happy with this. There we go. Looks like something has taken interest. Oh. Catfish. That's our 18.5 kg Tagara. Whatever this thing is. It's definitely a catfish. Uh, it's not really running or anything. Definitely bigger than the last one I caught, which was, what, a 15 kg? Oh, that's so annoying.
Okay. I mean, I don't want to uh, lock the reel here. Because uh, all of a sudden, it can decide to run. And it's going to snap our leader. Very interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm tempted to lock my reel, but if you can see, we're halfway through the yellow. Uh, it, it bashes its head or it turns around. That's it. We're toast. And we're going to lose our uh, leader and hook. Yeah, I need that leader. I don't have another one. I'm going to have to go and back and buy another one and that's going to be super annoying. Alright, I think both of our rods have something on which is great. I really need it. I've only caught one marker fish and that was the stellate. Virgin. I've got a few burbits, but they're all non-markers, which is uh, a bit disappointing. Definitely a fat catfish. Not want to move. Damn. My energy is seriously going down again. Are you serious? Three T's now. <laughs> Let's move a little. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have moved. All of a sudden it's starting to move now. Uh, well, uh, guys, I'm going to keep battling this, so I will uh, transition when I have it in the bag. I think we almost have this guy. I'm not going to look till the very end. Where is he? Where is he? I, I can't see the line. Oh, it's right there. Damn, look at that. How big do you think this guy is? I really hope this is uh, over 20 kilos. It has to be. Uh, that 15 kg one did not give us any trouble on this exact same rod too. So this one has to be much, much, much bigger. I mean, if it's 30 kg, I'll be super duper happy. Okay, let's get our net out here. Uh, 23.96 kg catfish. I am super happy with that. Oh yes, I'm happy with that. Uh, look at that, 13 kg. Wow, what? 7% wear and tear. When? Since when? Alright. What does our 26.5 kg Tugara have on it? A wild. 6 kg wild. You know what? It's a marker, finally. Alright. And finally, our caliber. Oh, please be a sterlet. Nope. Another non-marker burbot. I really don't know what the heck is going on with these burbs. I've never had burbots this bad. Uh, there you go. Uh, 20 minutes ago, sterlet, sturgeon. 
Then I got this 23 kg catfish, a wild carp, and look at this one, two, three, four non marker burps, and one non marker wild carp. So, looks like our Togara once again has something on it. Yes, no. I think we have something on. Yes. What are you? What are you? A burbot. Yay. Finally, just barely a marker. Man, we're struggling with burbs today. Let me just quickly see what the heck this is. Nope, nothing on this. All right, that's fine. Alrighty. Once again, uh, the caliber. Uh, it's been a little over half hour. Still looking for our very first sterlet here. Another catfish, 3 kg, sure. This has to be sterlet. It's quiet. And no strength. Oh my god, no. Oh, a rough. Okay, okay. Uh... You're, you're as big as my hook. And my size one hook. <laughs> For a sec, I thought I lost a fish. Or it was just so small that uh, I didn't even notice it on hook itself. Uh, but it was a rough. And rough are just... Uh, they're good looking fish. They look like algae, on honestly. Uh, but they look cool. Very cool looking fish. Okay, looks like we have a wild carp maybe. It just ran really quickly and that freaked me out because I had the game all tabbed. I was looking at different things because it's a very slow spot here. Uh, yep, it is a wild. 6kg wild, wow. Uh, the difference between 18.5 and 26.5. Let me just uh, pick this guy up and see. Maybe there's something on it? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can see here, 40 minutes. Uh, catfish, stellate, wild catfish. And that's pretty much it so far. Oops. Better tighten the line here and boom, there. Okay. Alrighty. I think we might be getting another bite. Wild or a catfish? Well, it died pretty quick. No. No, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. I think it's going to be a wild. Yep. Uh, 5.7. So we're not getting anything big. And uh, the sterlets today. Wow, where are they? This has to be it. Is it? Yes! A sterlet, finally. Wow, such a weight. Ah! Such a weight you made me do. That made any sense. <laughs> you made me wait so long. Uh, but we finally have our sterlet, and that's exactly why we came here. Uh, sterlets and Russians. Sorry, not Russians. Uh, any, any sturgeon. Uh, like that sterlet. Oh, sweet. So I'm gonna keep, uh, fishing for a bit more. Okay, that was a pretty quick bite. I just threw the guy in and boom. Again, another bite. That is a wild, a 5kg. Okay, cool. Thing's trying to take this down. Oh no, that's another cat, isn't it? 
but it's not even pushing our reel here so i am happy with that let's hope this is a uh a big cat it remains to be seen how big now i haven't even uh cranked my break up i'm at 27 uh which means this might not be too bigger than our 23 kg we got let's see let's see let's see great our energy is just uh going 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 Okay, I am not going to raise it until my energy starts going up. Damn. Alright, not even reeling it in. There we go, okay, our energy is going up. Keep going, keep going. Be a good boy. Okay, now I can press. Yes, there we go. Okay. <laughs> After two thermoses of tea and a thermos of, of cocoa, uh, it had to go up. So definitely a big fish. <laughs> Look at it, it's playing around. <laughs> Bobbing back and forth. What is going on? Yeah, we still have the fish on this. I've never seen this. Okay, once again, our energy is... What is going on with our energy? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop reeling it in. Wow, I've never uh, had this big of an issue with our energy before. Okay, I guess I'm just not going to uh, shift press it. Holy moly. Okay, let's get our net out here. And that is a 19 kg. So not even as big. Uh, but the reason this took so long is because of our stupid energy. Like four thermoses. <laughs> Alright, what are you? I think it's a burbot. Feels too heavy for, uh, for a sterlet. Nope. You know what, guys? One positive thing. Those big cats were both on our bigger uh, reels and not on the caliber. So you know what? I'm happy. Uh, actually, it's so funny. They came appropriately, appropriately, didn't they? Hey, our first big burbot. 4.8 kg. Finally, yes. Only took us the second night. Uh, so if you see here, uh, our biggest cat, 24 kg, was on our 18.5 kg rod. Our second biggest was on our biggest rod. That's fine. But this cute little 3 kg catfish was on our caliber, wasn't it? Uh, so yeah, sure, that works. <laughs> Ooh. So hard looking at the line, it's annoying. Alright. What might you be? A wild carp? That's the moon on red. Uh, come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Did something take... My Tagara? My other one, the big one? Ooh, this is a decent sized fish too. Oh man, it's a wild. 3.888. Uh, what are you? Oh, it's just slack. Never mind. Okay, all of a sudden, uh, I believe two of our rods have something on them. Maybe burbs. Maybe sturts. Or maybe just wilds. 
Hey, our first marker beam. Finally. How hard was that? We even have a marker sterlet, but not a marker bream until now. Uh, way too dark in this game. Another wild non-marker, unfortunately. Oh boy. Okay, we have this guy on. We have caliber, something small in our caliber. There we go, a burb, 2.885, nice. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Chinchilla. That's another burb. Is it a marker? Just barely. Uh, where are the sterlets? They are not out today. Wow, look at how our rod just dips into the waters. Oh, is this a cat or is this a wild? It's a small one at that, so it might be a non-marker. That is a wild. Uh, 3.3. Okay, as long as it's not a marker, we can make some money off of it. Okay, uh, did something just nibble? Oh, I think it just took it right then. Nice. What are you? Hey, nice. Another, our second sterlet. Look at the pattern on the fins here. Very cool. I love that. Nice. Our second one so far. There we go. Something ran pretty fast. Ouch. Hey, that's a short head barbel. Nice. Oh, come on. Stop playing around with me. Uh, 1.13. Oh, just barely a marker. But it is a new species of fish. This is the second, this is the third one I've ever caught. So my very first one was almost a trophy. Boy, 0.5 kg off of a trophy. Can you believe that? Okay, so I just uh, moved over here into this bend. And uh, let's see what we have on this rod here. Ooh, what? A Russian sturgeon. It's a non-marker, but wow, this is promising. I've been here maybe three, four minutes now. What? Oh, this, that's why. Stupid rod. Uh, but uh, if this is the case, holy moly, this might be our spot. And this is a nightcrawler too. Uh, which isn't the ideal for sturgeons, but uh, if we can get something here, that would be amazing. Ooh, once again, our Tagara has a bite. Again, guys, this is extremely slow bite. It's been six minutes. Uh, nothing big again. I think this might be another non-marker. Wow, what is that? That is a big head. <laughs> That's a baby big head, not even a marker. Okay, I think it's time for me to head back, I would say, in a few minutes. Alright guys, I'm gonna wrap this episode up with day two. Uh, that spot, uh, I'd have to spend another one or two hours there to get a grasp of what we can get. So I will, if, uh, I will go there again spend an hour or two there and see if I can get anything. Now, if uh, it's a good day, if I get something interesting, you will most likely see an episode in the future on it. If I don't get anything, that means you won't see an episode on it. Uh, to me, it seems just as slow as this spot. Look at that, almost two hours. And uh, let's go by price here. Uh, 55 silver for this catfish, 24 kg, 19 kg is 45 silver. Hot damn. That's a very good price. Considering these took, you know, like less than a minute and no uh, wear and tear on our gear. Granted, this 19 kg took us a while because uh, I just had to drink like 2 million liters of tea. Wow, I thought the stellate sturgeon would be 
like worthless because you know these guys get so big same with these uh catfish but look at that 35 silver uh this burbit 18 silver for 4.8 we have a few wild carps good money because they're easy to reel in and a few wow look at that one kg barbel is six silver uh very expensive fish this very good uh, so for two hours we made a 311 right it was this two hours yeah two hours so i'm supposed to make 400 silver minimum but i made 311 uh you know what though this is still really good considering how little marker fish we've caught in two hours uh, that is a very good price uh so i'll definitely go to that other spot i'll try it out and i hope uh, that I will have another video for you guys and this time I think in that spot we should hopefully get some good sized sturgeon so I cannot wait to go there again guys I really hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please don't forget to like subscribe and comment below just say hi hello how are you anything and I will see you in the next episode until then guys enjoy